Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today, I've got a cheeky Primark haul for you. Um, it's a rather big bag. It was one of those Primark visits, purchases kind of experiences when I was having a rough morning at work. I get an hour for lunch. Primark's about a eight minute walk away from where I work. And that's what happened. Didn't spend a whole lot of money, but I did do well because I've got the sale on at the moment. So let's jump right in. First thing is the shirt, which is inside out, because I've already tried it on. Because obviously, I never ever try anything on in Primark. Because it doesn't matter how empty the store is, the uh, there's always a queue for the dressing room. I never know. Obviously it's, um, when I bought this, it, it's the uh, school holidays, the summer holidays still, so it's always full. Primark's always busy what, regardless what day you go in, even a weekday, but it's the summer holidays, so yeah. But yes, I picked up this shirt, I got it at a size 16, um, thought it would be nice, nice for work actually. I, I bought it because I thought it'd be nice for jeans, but... I think it might be smart enough, even though it's this really soft fabric, you know, a pair of black trousers, it'll work for work, work for work, and it was reduced from £10 to £5, but it's actually super soft, it feels really nice quality for Primark, and I just thought the colour would go quite well with my eyes. What do you think? Do you think people with blue eyes should wear blue? I don't know, I've heard differing things, I have been told before that someone with blue eyes shouldn't wear blue clothing but I thought that colour was pretty. The next thing I bought was this t-shirt. I already own this t-shirt. Um, of course I own this t-shirt, it's in my hands. What I mean is, um, I, my, I think the last Primark haul I did, I bought this t-shirt in red and I've tried everything on, that's why it's all inside out. It's this like deep V stripey kind of quarter length sleeve kind of thing. It looks like that. I bought it in the red, white and blue stripe and now I have it in the blue and white stripe because I like stripes and I quite like the exaggerated V. I thought that was nice and this again was in the sale and this was reduced from five pounds to two. The other thing I got, which I'm not 100% sure on. Uh, I, I like Primark jeans. I know some people hate them. I quite like them. I'm not 100% sure on the wash and if these were full price I probably wouldn't have bought them. But they were reduced so I got them. Um, so these are the super stretchy skinny ultra soft jean. Um, got them in a size 16 because that's how I roll. Um, and they're just a very light, light wash, skinny jean. Um, now, I'm one of those people that... Uh, I always like... You know when people say, oh, I'm going to wear it with white jeans in the summer? I'm never brave enough to actually wear white jeans. I have a pair of, like, white linen trousers that I think for the last couple of years have gone on holiday with me but still never worn because I'm not the best at wearing white. I will spill, draw, like... <laughs> I will spill something on myself and I will, um, you know, get pen on me or brush up against something and they just never stay clean. Um, but I thought that these would be a good transition jean. Um, the jeans I've been living and dying in of late are, are a light blue wash, but these are kind of the lightest wash I think I've ever owned. Um, but these are reduced from £12 to... Five pounds. So I thought I'd give them a go and see how comfortable I felt in having such a light wash. I do tend to do dark colours on the bottom and light, like patterns and light colours on the top. So let's see how I go with my very light wash jeans. Um, I picked up a lip pencil. I've had this one before. I like the Primark lip liners. Some of the colours are a bit... Uh, but that might be because it doesn't just, maybe it doesn't work with my colouring and my skin tone. 
but I like the formula of all the ones I've tried. Um, I've had this shade before, this is Rosewood Mauve. Um, they don't sharpen that well, like they seem to splinter. And it's not my pencil sharpener because it works on my other ones, um, but they do seem to splinter and break. Um, but they only cost a pound, and that one's alive. And then the last thing, which was the thing that I kind of told myself I'd probably buy, and then I bought all these other things, is a candle. Now, you may have seen, uh, I think back in June, John, it may have even been May, John put me on a candle ban because he found my stash of candles. Now, I burn a candle every day. Sometimes at the weekend, I might have two or three dotted about burning because the scents go nicely with each other. Um, John doesn't get that, and John thinks you should buy one candle, burn it to the end, and then buy another candle. Or, and it's just like, no, girls don't work like that. So, end of May, beginning of June, John put me on a candle ban. A few have slipped through, a few have come in. Um, I got one of the fake Joe Malone ones from Aldi, which he allowed, because he was with me. Allowed, like he's my dad. You know what I mean. He didn't whinge. And then I did pick up a couple from Primark. No, yeah, I got a cheeky one from Primark. And then this is my favorite scent of a Primark candle. This is the Sea Salt and Lavender. I love it. It's so good. I really wanted to get one of the, they, they do these mini reed diffusers, which I've had a few, and I wanted to get the big one, because um, they have big ones now. Um, I hadn't seen them in my store, but I'd seen them on people's Instagrams or YouTubes. Um, but I couldn't find the big reed diffuser for this scent, so I bought the candle. That's a very lengthy story about buying a two pound candle, isn't it? But oh, I do like it. It's my favourite. It is my favourite Primark scent. There we go. That's everything I bought. So, that was a grand total of £14. So, two tops, a candle, a pair of jeans and a lip liner. 14 quid. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Right, that is me rambling about stuff I bought when I wasn't planning on buying anything. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.